the vehicle driving when the quake struck. Uh, Lorena, kind of tell us what in the world did you see? What did you feel? What did you experience? Uh, well, it was the most terrifying experience because it started and it kept going, increasing and the intensity kept going up and up and up and everything was moving. We, I actually thought that the, the ground was going to swallow the entire car. And, you know, it was, we were shaking. I mean, it shook the car as, a, as, a, as, as nothing. And people started coming out of the streets. And then uh, we also saw some type of uh, uh, lighting in the sky. And I think it's because they were shutting down the electricity. Fortunately, we did not see any, any buildings uh, suffering any kind of damage on the exterior. However, many people got hurt inside because things fell on them or they, or they, they got caught with glasses that got broken when they were running out of their buildings. This is a very high density area and uh, there are many apartment buildings everywhere. People were in the streets with their kids, their families, and uh, you know, it just felt that it was never gonna end. And around seven o'clock in the morning, we had an aftershock mm -hmm. that was very scary as well. I don't know how many we've had, but the one at seven o'clock was very, very uh, strong and it felt as very close to the, you know, to the earthquake last night. I think it was probably six or so. Lorena, t t describe for us what you were thinking when you felt the earthquake it, it happened and you were in your car. Were you thinking, I need to get out of my car? I need to drive my car to a safer place? What was going through your head? Okay, for a fraction of a second, I was paralyzed. And the thing is that we were sitting like under the electric wires. So I knew that we were in the worst position or in the worst spot that we, we, we could possibly be. So, you know, I told the guy that was driving, you know, back up because we're right under the electric wires. And at that point, we tried to back up, but the car wouldn't respond to the, to the driver because, I mean, it was like each wheel was, was going in a different direction or, or was kind of undulating and just going up and down. It was, it was like a wave on the ground. Goodness. Well, um, luckily you survived uh, with no injuries from this, but we are looking at video of a lot of damage. We appreciate you sharing your experience with us and stay safe because we understand aftershocks will continue for days and possibly weeks.